Hey guys, so it's Tuesday morning and it's the first Tuesday of the month, meaning it's Tsum Tsum Tuesday. Today Disney is releasing their Zootopia Tsum Tsum, so I'm gonna go over to the mall and get those. This mall is always so busy and it's not even open yet and it's already busy ish. Uh, this place exists. There was a different home store and it got replaced. Well, it closed. I didn't realize they opened up a different home store. Mm, looks expensive. I might poke around anyways. <laughs> looks like there's a bit of a Tsum Tsum lineup. So I got the Tsum Tsums. It took about 20 minutes to get to the front of the line, even though I was like the 10th person. And um, so they had Zootopia and Birthday Mickey and Minnie. So I'll show those when I get back. Just a quick look, because I do want to save them for my toy channel. But I'm going to go into this place real quick to see what they have. I love this table. I want something like this. And I like this. And I like this. And I like this. I like everything. I'm going to go boob. This is this. This is this. I need to get this. Like, just look at this thing. I want all the things now. There are some pretty good finds in there, but I, I took some pictures and I'm gonna show them to Christian and see what he thinks. So, yeah, and that's just the first place I've looked and I already watched all the stuff, so. Uh, I should shop around a little bit, but it's kind of nice just to be like, yep, I like that, let's just get that avoid the hassle of further shopping. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, this stuff's kind of fun to shop for because I've never really had the opportunity to do that before, either because of finances or because of lack of space. So, <laughs> this is fun. I was kind of walking by Sears, so I figured why not peek inside and see what they have for furniture. I'm really, really liking this one. Someone just took two of the chairs away, but it's a six-piece set, or you can get it as a five-piece set. I like this, I like how it's padded, and I like the colors, so it's nice. So after hearing back from Christian, we decided we wanted the little round table from that accent store, but they only had the chairs in stock, not the table, and they said it would take two weeks. So I was like, well, I might as well keep looking around, because I'm sure so many places have tables like that. Sears did, but it wasn't as nice, and it was the same price, so I'm just gonna keep looking around. And uh, yeah, right now I'm gonna go to Winners slash HomeSense, just for smaller things. Like That's what I meant to get today, was smaller things for the house, but I don't know, having a, at least a little table would be really, really nice for now, so, yeah. That is so cool. Ooh. I've been picking out a few things. I'm not gonna have time to go to Homes, <laughs> or not Homes, since um, Bed Bath & Beyond, because TELUS people can come anytime between one and three and it's 12, so might have to go there later. <laughs> Is that scaring you, baby? Are you being a fraidy cat? <laughs> it's pretty neat because the guys are going to make it so that Christian and I can both be hardwired in without having to run a cable like inside the house from one room to the other because they're so far away. So I probably don't need that cable I bought, which is fine because it's like 10 bucks. <laughs> but um, that would be so neat. Like, oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Anyway, I'll show you guys the things I picked up. So I guess I'll show this first because... I think it's super cool. You guys know how I like my wine. So this is on clearance for three bucks. And I was like, that's so neat. I need to get it. Then for the bathroom, I picked up this soap pump. I thought something light would be nice against the dark counter. I also want to get a little basket for Christian stuff just so it doesn't look so bleh. And my stuff's going to be downstairs. So I want this to be kind of like the nice looking almost guest bathroom, but still we use it, you know, just, just the nicer looking one. So one of these is for downstairs or hello the door is opening <laughs> for q-tips and cotton balls so one will be up here one will be downstairs then i got a garbage can that matches the soap pump and i want to get some kind of like decorational piece like a little fake plant or something but i couldn't find one that i liked but i'll get something for here and then i probably want to put like a little picture up there and I also want a shower curtain, but I couldn't find one that I liked today. Although I might find one later because I'm going to go back out shopping after. Um, this is not going to stay here. The movers just hung that there. But um, I want to get little hooks for off the top of the door to hang people's towels because we only have this towel rack. 
no one's using this. Christian just hung that there. That was used to pack stuff, but it's kind of, you know, it's right by the toilet. It's kind of gross. So um, I want to get one where we can hang long towels just on the back of the door. So if any guests come over, they can hang theirs there. And Christian might hang his here because he'll probably shower up here. I also picked up this photo frame because I've been eyeing up ornate frames like this. And this one's only 10 bucks. So I was like, yeah, I don't know where it's going to go, but I got it. And I think that was everything. Just a few bathroom things. Oh, and the rug, the rug. It's like a beigey. It's it's like a warm beige color, which is nice because the floor is also a warmy color. And so, yeah, it's got sparkles in it, like little tinsel bits, which is funny. Sparkle, sparkle. Is that picking up? I don't know. <laughs> and a light beige color matches the beige colors in this because it's like white with beige. Yeah. Anyway, that's so far some things I've picked up. And I realized we actually did use up all our refill soap, so I can't even fill this yet. So it was kind of pointless. So I'll maybe pick some up later. Because I do want to run to Superstore, probably just get hand soap, body wash, and eye drops. And then I want to get more cat food. I might have to do two runs because the cat food might be kind of heavy. I mean, I can bring my rolly cart, I guess. But I need to get some more wet food and some more dry food. And then um, I want to go to Bed Bath & Beyond because I haven't gone there yet. So I want to see what they have. Here's just a super quick look at the Tsum Tsums because saving it for the toy channel. But birthday Mickey and Minnie, then all the Zootopia characters. Oh, Judy. Judy is so cute. I love how they actually gave her big ears. So yeah, they're all so cute. I can't believe they made her poof this big on the <laughs> Oh my god. So cute, so cute. So, yep. Okay, internet is all hooked up. I'll go show that in a second. I've just been trying to find things to do up here so that I wasn't in their way because they were both in the living room and in my room. So I was just doing stuff up here like hanging up clothes and I got some laundry started and rearrange the kitchen a little bit. So there's not a whole lot of space between the countertops and the cupboards, and almost all the counter space has cupboards on top of it. So it's a little bit harder for taller appliances. So with Christian's coffee maker, he set it up right here this morning. I moved it over to the corner because this is a little, a little patch where there's no cupboard where he could easily access the water and everything. So that'll be nice for him. I, I don't think it looks as good as it did when the Toaster oven was, Kiki, no, no Kiki. It doesn't look as good as when the toaster oven was in that corner, I don't think, but um, I don't know, I think functionality is a little more important. So <laughs> that's over there. The stuff's like this, because I want to have nice open space on this cupboard for when I'm cooking and like preparing meals and stuff. So I want this space to be relatively clear. And then there's this here on the end. Microwave's still over here. That's still over there. I was kind of rearranging things. And then I put our juicer over here because it's another tall one and it doesn't fit under any of the cupboards either because all the cupboards have a second shelf in them. So it has to go over here. I kind of want this downstairs in my room now, my art room. So I don't know if I'll just maybe get a second thing like this or what I'll do. And it's missing this piece. Last time I moved, the glass piece fell out and shattered and um, I replaced it with some black foam board but uh, it seems to have disappeared during the move so I'm gonna have to cut something new to fill in the hole but right now that's sitting here with the juicer on it if we ever got a portable dishwasher I don't know if I want to do that or not but if we ever did that could sit on a portable dishwasher because they have like countertops on top of them but um, right now we don't have plans to get one of those so that's it's right there and hopefully we get a little table soon just a small one i don't want like a four seater like christian mentioned just like a two seater circular one and then we can have a bigger table here like a rectangular one and if we ever want more people around the round table we could always pull more chairs over if we wanted to right so yeah anyway this is all garbage <laughs> so this is more clear because all the crap that's on the floor is mostly cleared out i still have to put away all this stuff like find a home for it so that's still messy. Um, I was in here hanging up clothes and I'm still working away on that. So 
Just filling up the closet with all my stuff because this is all the stuff that was wrapped around dishes to keep them from breaking. And then I fetched one of the other suitcases that had clothes in it and hung those up too. So that's the progress in here. Kitty stuff's gonna get moved. This will be the room where their litter box is, but um, probably move the bed out here somewhere. We'll see. And that's just drying out because I'll probably put that shower curtain downstairs for now unless I buy a different one that I like. But, uh, yep. Yep, yep. And I took the hooks off because I'm going to use these hooks upstairs. So, yep. Because I want the fancier things up here if I can. So, that's what I've been doing. So, yeah. I'll show you guys what it looks like downstairs. The thing is, my computer and my desk are not set up at all, so I can't even really start editing unless I dig out all my Surface Pro stuff and find it, but there's kind of like bits and pieces here and there. So, um, I might do that, but I also still want to run out and get more stuff, and honestly, I'd rather go do that than edit the vlog right now. So, the vlog, I'm probably not going to edit it till like late tonight. So, here's where the main modem set up, and they drilled a hole and put in this line here, which I'm so thankful for. I'm like so excited this is set up in my art room. So I want some kind of little table here that I can set it on and then I can wind up the cords a little bit more so they're not so long. And so that's why I kind of wanted that little table that's in the kitchen. And then this is a little dusty. They were going to clean this up, but I don't have my little vacuum here. And I'm not really sure where the broom is right now, so I was like, oh, just leave it. I'll sweep it up myself later. Like, that's easy. And then I just have to run my Ethernet cable around here. Kiki is yowling. Why? She's been so good this whole time, and all of a sudden she's yowling. Kiki! Kiki! I'm down here! She's been, they've been so, like, well adjusted and everything. Now all of a sudden you're screeching. What's your problem? Anyway, I can run an ethernet cable behind my desk and around it, and it's gonna be not in the way at all. I'll just run it along the baseboard and it'll be perfect. So I am so pumped. There's a second one because with Internet 100 with TELUS, you automatically get a second modem. It's like a 5G modem. And so the main one is in my room, then the 5G one is in here and it just goes up like this. Kind of ugly, but hey, that is so convenient. I might just like tape this down to the wall or something, make it look a little nicer or even get a cover for it. But um, that's what they did and they totally didn't touch that. So the contractor that came in and drilled holes in the spare bedroom to run these cables down did it all for nothing. And now we have a nice hole. So, bah. <laughs> the contractor does have to come back to fix a couple things in the kitchen and he was gonna fix like if Telus had to cut holes in the wall he was gonna fix it I mean they did cut holes but not like for that so I guess we'll just tell him to remove the cables and patch the holes I don't know <laughs> oh hi there baby I didn't see you there being such a cutie pie okay well now that that's all taken care of I mean I think I'm gonna hang around here until the washer load is done so I can transfer it to the dryer and then I'll head out. So I'll just kind of finish fixing up things here and there. Like, um, hey, I thought I turned off Christian's TV. And just, I don't know, put a few more things away until I leave. Kiki, oh my gosh, what are you doing? I don't even know if that was in frame or not. <laughs> on the little baby. What are you doing, you stupid? She was hanging from there. Clawn for dear life. You're dumb. You're a dumb baby. Are you trying to get on top of Mummy's desk? Oh, careful now. You always just want to get higher and higher. It's her goal. Cats just love to climb. Oh, also, Christian. Jesus. Christian. Jesus. That's what happens. That's what happens. Oh my god. <sighs> Poor Kiki. <laughs> oh, baby. I had a picture of me and Tom Felton in here. And I guess when the movers were moving, the door opened. They're like, oh, there's a picture in here. And 
they peeled it out. So Christian's like, by the way, your Tom Felton picture got left behind. And I was like, why? So <laughs> I don't know why they took it out. <laughs> I don't know if Christian told them to or what the story was, but I'm like, I purposely left that in there because it's not harming anyone by being stuck in there. No, you already tried getting up there. It doesn't work. I'm not, I'm not gonna lift you. No, sorry. Oh, are you pleased with yourself? Huh? You little rat, you little rat baby. Meow. What? What a loser. Not you, baby. The rat baby. Wait, maybe you are. Are you trying to get up there? <laughs> Clunk. You dummies. I went downstairs to put a few things away and the TV was turned on again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like the mouse is wiggling or anything because the computer is shut off and the mouse is shut off and the keyboard is shut off. It just says no input, but I shut it off like three times now, so hopefully it doesn't turn back on. I mean, I don't get a haunted vibe from this place, except for my art room. My art room is kind of creepy. So, um just really anxious to get going so I'm not gonna wait for the laundry I'm just gonna head out it'll be here waiting for me when I get back so gonna run to Superstore for a few things and Bed Bath & Beyond and then PetSmart for kitty food so I should get going where's my list I wrote a massive list I'm not gonna get all this today but <laughs> get a few things oh yeah there's a right by the mall there's this store called knock on wood and they sell a bunch of wooden furniture, like, you know, the real furniture, not this cheap Ikea crap, but like real furniture, which is what I'd like for our tables, is to get nice tables. So I'm gonna see if they have any little three-piece dining sets. And uh, yeah, so maybe I'll stop by there first. I gotta shut a light off down, or well, actually a few lights. <laughs> Let's see if the TV's on. Nope, good. Stay that way. <laughs> I'm at Bed Bath & Beyond. These aisles are not cart friendly. Plus, the bottom of the carts look like this. You can't even store anything under there, and that's usually where I put my rolly cart, so the cart's chilling in there. Taking up all the space. Anyway, I just picked up some of these things, because we have a shoe shelf thingy, and it has lime green and pink boxes, and I think that looks horrible. So I'm gonna switch them out for brown ones. I was gonna do all six of these, but there's only five, so I'm gonna do three and three. So, yeah, that's probably gonna look cool anyway. I want like a hanging organizer for the closet in our bedroom since you can't really fit hangers over the rod. I'm gonna do this, like hang something like this so we can have little storage in there. It'd be nice to have two of these, but I don't know. I don't, I don't wanna spend that much money. <laughs> oh yeah, I did want one for the, the spare bedroom too because the spare bedroom is likely where, oh, they have displays up there. You couldn't even notice. Um, the spare bedroom is probably where we're gonna keep like, well, it's where I'm keeping my shirts, but it's also gonna kind of double as a linen closet. Um, so that's where we're gonna put out like our towels and stuff. So maybe I should get a second one. You know what, that's actually probably, that's too tall for our closet. So I'll just use this for the spare bedroom closet and wait and find something else for our closet. Cause yeah, that's gonna be too tall. I think I'm actually gonna get the black one. It's bigger and it's cheaper. It's 20 bucks, the other one's 26.99, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah put this one back sure it has a fancy pattern but ugh. oh it actually says $17.99 is this the same one yeah the sticker says $17.99 excellent way better haha -ha. okay this one's a tie hanger I think he has like one or two belts so I don't think he'd use that I'm gonna grab a tie hanger he doesn't have to wear ties for work anymore but he has enough that it'd be nice to hang him up and he does dress up for certain occasions Oh my, all the fancies. We should get this hanging cage thing and then if the babies are bad, we can lock them up. So I was looking at bed skirts. The king size bed skirts are $70. Like, 
I'm sure I could find one for like 20 bucks on Amazon, so won't be getting that today. Um, found this though, this is for hair in your drain. Yeah, I just stumbled across this. We need this because our drain gets clogged once in a while, so yep. Look at the shower curtain selection. Boom, 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 boom. All the way around. Oh, oh, oh. Hopefully they're not a thousand dollars. This is what we want for the front of the house. I don't know if that will fit. Oh, I should have measured. Damn. I like the dark color. I think that's too long though. Ugh, they like that one in a dark color. I mean, I could paint it or spray paint it. I want an over the door one for the bathroom and then one for the front of the house. So I forgot to check out the wood place before going to Superstore, so I just checked it out now because they have a lot of nice furniture. And they had, like as soon as I walked in, I see exactly what we wanted, like this nice dark wood table and the chairs were even padded, but also padded on the back. Like, we don't need that. I just kind of like the idea of them being padded on the butt. Not a necessity, but I've seen, a lot of the ones I've seen today look like that but they would not sell it as a three piece set. Like usually with those sets, you have the option to buy all the pieces individually. So it'll be like, okay, two chairs is this much. So if you want four chairs, you have to double it and you can choose to buy just the table alone. But the lady would not let me break it up. She said I had to buy the whole set, but it came with four chairs and it was a little bit more expensive than I wanted to. Cause if it came with only two chairs, it would be quite a bit cheaper. So, um, that's why I was like, well, no, we don't need four chairs. Plus that's higher than I'm willing to pay at this point for a small table. Um, so, nah. <laughs> so nothing there either. So I'll probably just look online at different stores, different furniture stores and see what I can find. Um, yeah. And one thing I realized the, the combo I liked combo, <laughs> the table and chairs that I liked at that accents place. Um, I realized I don't want that because it had four legs. I'd rather have a table that just has the one central leg. So, yeah. So I'll have to keep looking. But I got a lot of things um, that were on my list from Bed Bath & Beyond, so that's good. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> my cart's full though, so I didn't get the cat food. So now I'm wondering if I want to do that today or tomorrow. It's not like I have to go today to get the cat food. We have enough. Yeah, like maybe I should just focus on more unpacking for now and I could venture out again tomorrow. So I just went downstairs because I need to throw the laundry in the dryer now. And guess what? <laughs> I swear I didn't do this. <laughs> the TV is on. So I'm gonna have to ask Christian if this has been a thing with his TV. There we go. And stay off. Here we go. Nice, very nice. Now people can hang their towels. Does it close? No, why? Why world, why? Okay, so I got it figured out. The reason it wouldn't fit is because the top bars were hanging at a weird angle. I just kind of bent the metal a little bit by pressing it on the ground and um, it closes now. So, problem solved. So here's the updated shoe organizer, just different colored baskets. Here are the other baskets. Um, I might use them in my art room or something, or they could end up being used in another room because we're gonna end up needing more storage and stuff. So if we ever get another container, like any kind of storage that takes these square baskets, we can use those in them. Then here's just the little update on the bathroom with Christian's basket, soap, this thingy. You don't have Q-tips in it yet. Again, we need some little display thing, maybe a picture. I put up the new shower curtain. So that's what I have. And then of course you saw that and then the hooks on the back. So it's coming along nicely. It's at least more functional now. And we actually have a soap dispenser and it's all good. Um, I need different colored towels. I was looking at some today, but I couldn't find any on sale. I liked the ones at Sears, but they weren't on sale and they probably will go on sale. So I was like, ah, I'll do that another day. I think I'm actually just gonna swap this one for a black one. Cause downstairs we'll still have the blue stuff. So I'll put a black one. Oh, and speaking of the towels, there's our linen closet. <laughs> um, 
most of it's camouflaging because it's black on black. But, uh, and it's really empty because this is not all of it, but I, I first hung it up in the other bedroom, thought it looked weird, so now it's in this one. So before I was thinking of a shower downstairs, but I think I'm actually gonna still shower up here because it just makes more sense to me based on my routine. But then once I go to do my hair and makeup and stuff, I'll go downstairs. I think that's how I'm gonna do it, so that's the plan. Anyway, I need to go downstairs now and start fixing up that bathroom because I have some stuff I bought for it. Mostly just the garbage can and a uh, shower curtain. And then I want to put my toiletries and stuff down there. So yeah, because there's a couple boxes still sitting around up here that are both bathroom stuff and I want to get those put away. So and that will be next on the list. You should not even be vlogging this. <laughs> I have not been able to find Minda anywhere. I've been looking for her forever and calling for her. Oh my god. The last time I saw, I was like, well, when was the last time I saw her? And I was like, well, she was hanging around me when I was putting clothes in the dryer. And I thought I she jumped in the dryer or something. And I couldn't bring myself to look in there and I was freaking out. And I was like, I need Christian home now. He doesn't get home for another hour. And I just came out of the bedroom after like bawling in the closet and I saw Midna there and I just burst into sobbing baby <sighs> Well at least I learned to double check and I mean I did look in the dryer before I started it because I was like Oh, did I put the dryer sheet in and I could see it and I was like, oh, yeah, but like she could have been under the clothes or something <sighs> So at least I don't know <laughs> I learned my lesson to be more careful when doing the laundry because I have been so worried. <laughs> my god, I thought I killed my cat. I was even texting Christian in a panic. I had the text all written out and I was about to hit send and then I was like, well what if she just appeared and I came around the corner and there she was and it was just like, <sighs> oh god, okay, erase this text. <laughs> So it's 11.30 and my computer is now mostly set up so I can actually start editing. Um, Christian helped me a ton with the desk which is nice and um, yeah I just got everything plugged in. Everything hooked up for the most part. There might be a few extra things here and there but ah yes my baby is back. My computer blue screened again when transferring clips, just like last time. I think it's the stupid SD card reader. I really need to get a new one. I think I'll get one tomorrow. Um, and then when my computer booted back up, not, my computer was like a complete reset. It was like my hard drive was wiped and I freaked. And I powered off my computer, turned it back on, and luckily everything was back to normal. So it's all good. I just hate that I'm up later than Christian. He just went to bed a little while ago and I wanted to go to bed too, but I promised people I would get this vlog up tonight, so I better do it. I don't really like this overhead light. It is in my eyes. Anyway, um, videos, exporting, and I may have to plan out what I'm doing for Wednesday, Thursday, because it's going to be kind of a mad dash to get videos done, so... Mm -hmm. Plus we have to go back, get the final things out of our old apartment and clean it because we have the move out inspection on Friday. Um, we also have to have all our frog boxes emptied by Friday because that's when they're coming to pick them up. Yeah, plus trying to squeeze in a live stream. So tomorrow's live stream is going to be me cleaning my art room, like organizing it. That's what I want. That was my original plan anyway. I was going to do it tonight when I was planning ahead before and I'm like, oh, I can live stream maybe Tuesday night. <laughs> so I'm doing a Wednesday stream instead and it's just I'm gonna set up a couple webcams hopefully in good positions we'll see what kind of a setup I can get and then just organize beverages everywhere organize my art room and um yeah we'll see I'm gonna get out a piece of paper right now though and plan it out see what I have to do and stuff so I'm gonna end the vlog here, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Please be in there, please be in there. Yes! Babies! Oh my goodness! What is this? Poor babies. Is this your little hidey hole? Is this your little hideout when we were gone? Oh, babe. Oh, I feel so sad. 